What's up everybody, Johnny Omega here, back with another review, but this time I'm not doing a movie review, doing something a little bit different, I'm doing a product review. So I'm scrolling through Facebook, minding my own business, and I come across an ad that catches my attention. It was this really cool looking t-shirt at this website called Once Upon a Tea. Now if you haven't already guessed by this excellent background, this lovely t-shirt that I'm currently wearing, as well as this awesome hat, I kind of like the Ninja Turtles a little bit. And the t-shirt that caught my attention was a Ninja Turtle t-shirt. Now, if you haven't heard of Once Upon a Tea, it's this really cool website where artists submit their artwork onto this website. And if you like the particular design that the artist does, you can actually get that design printed on a whole bunch of different stuff. You can get the designs printed on t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, coasters, tote bags, posters, shower curtains, it's just a whole bunch of different things. But one of the cool things about this website is that to keep their inventory fresh, they rotate the designs. So something that you see on the website one day might not be there a week later. And another cool thing about this website is that even though there was one t-shirt that caught my attention, that specific design was actually given to all four turtles. And instead of buying all four turtle t-shirts individually, they gave you the option to buy everything in a bundle pack. And like I said, whole thing started with me minding my own business, but next thing I know, I'm on the checkout page buying this bundle pack. And now that I've gotten my shirts in the mail, I figured I'd share my thoughts with you guys to let you know if this website is any good. And as you can see, this will be more of an unpackaging than an unboxing because all the shirts that I bought came in this pack right here. So first things first, kudos to the fact that they decided to use priority mail when sending your shirts out so that you don't have to wait too long to get them. And even though there's four Ninja Turtles, there's actually five t-shirts in this particular package. So I'm gonna open this up with you guys and I'm going to basically let you guys know if these shirts are any good and if it's worth buying from Once Upon a Tea. All right, so opening up everything here for you. All right, so open up everything and I am pulling these out with you guys. And they basically stuffed all the shirts in here. I mean, they folded them up first, but they folded them up as tight as they possibly could to basically stuff everything in that package that you saw. So first thing is first, there is your shipping details and order information, but we already know what we have, so that's really not important. All right, so pulling these shirts out, and the first one is actually the fifth t-shirt that I got. Mm. I'll go ahead and show it to you first. I probably would have saved this one to last, but it's the first one in the package, so... I'll pull this out. This is the Casey Jones design. Uh, order the extra large. It feels good. Feels like they got a good, nice quality t shirt here. It's a pretty cool design for all of my Casey Jones fans. All right. So, put that down. The next shirt in the pile is actually the shirt that I saw that actually caught my attention. It is the Raphael t-shirt. Cool design here. Again, t-shirt quality definitely does feel nice. You definitely do not use raggedy t-shirts, that's for sure. The printing quality actually is really nice too. Feels real nice, looks real nice. This looks like a real quality, quality thing. It's real cool. All right, so the next one up is the Leonardo print. Same thing. Looks just as good as the Raphael one. Nice design, nice shirt. All these shirts are pretty much the same, so I ain't got to keep saying that. But the design on this one is great as well. Oh, another thing. They actually gave me some candy. So there is a lifesaver in my package as well. It was kind of stuck in between all the shirts, but I'll save that for later. Next design is the Michelangelo one. Yeah, the Michelangelo one, I like it. This is really cool, really nice. Um, 
you can tell this is orange. I mean, Michelangelo, you can tell it's orange. It is on the spectrum. It is a little bit more on the yellow side than like a bright orange that you might, you know, picture Michelangelo in. But either way, like I said, you can tell that it is orange. You can tell that it does have to do with Michelangelo. So other than this particular orange not being a real vibrant color, I don't really have any complaints about this. So like the design and then chucks, all that. All right, on to the next one. And last but not least, we have the Donatello design. Now the Donatello design actually does, like all the other colors, have a real vibrant color to it. This is a real nice, vibrant purple. I like it a lot. Like I said, all the colors are actually really vibrant. The only one that's not really so vibrant is the actual Michelangelo one. But it's all good. Not a problem. I'm actually going to try these on and see how they feel. All right, so I just tried on all five shirts, and I got to say I really like them. They all fit real nice. They have a nice feel to them. Now, if you're familiar with brands, the Casey Jones t-shirt is a Gildan brand. That's actually their regular t-shirt. With the Ninja Turtle t-shirts, I actually opted for the premium upgrade, and that particular brand is Next Level Apparel. The premium shirts are about $3 more per shirt, but they are softer. It's not a significant difference in softness, though, so if you're just buying a couple of shirts, and it might be worth the extra upgrade, but if you're buying a bunch of shirts, you might as well just go ahead and save that money and get an extra shirt. And the shirts are a little bit wrinkly from all being stuffed in that packaging, but it's nothing a light ironing shouldn't fix. So as far as my overall opinion of the shirts, like I said before, I really like them. The only thing negative I would say is that the orange in the Michelangelo shirt really doesn't pop as much as the colors on the other shirts do, so if Mikey's your favorite turtle, you might be a little disappointed. But that's really my only nitpick. Overall, I would still buy shirts from this company again. The overall quality of everything is great, and the package actually arrived a day sooner than it was supposed to. Although that might have had to do with the fact that I had it sent to a P.O. box, but either way, it still would have been here in a couple days. Oh yeah, and besides that lovely tasting lifesaver that I've already eaten, what also comes in the package, other than the shirts of course, is this lovely sticker that they send with you. Now, I'm not sure if this particular sticker is the same in every package or if you're probably gonna get something different than what I got. Um, but it's a cool little once upon a t.net sticker. Nice little armor guy, so yeah, nice little sticker you can have for yourself as well. And just to be clear, I'm not an affiliate of Once Upon a Tea. They're not sponsoring this video, so I'm not going to tell you to click on the link below. The only reason they sent me these shirts is because I paid for them. And like I said before, the cool thing about this website is that they update their inventory, I think, weekly. And I say that because if you see something that you like, don't wait too long to get it because it might not be there when you get back. But that's my review of onceuponatea.net. Hopefully you liked it and comment below and let me know which one of the five t-shirts that I bought is your personal favorite. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button to see what we got coming next.